What does lactose intolerance mean? What causes lactose intolerance? Why does lactose intolerance cause diarrhea? In this video, we'll answer these questions and more. Hey everyone, my name is Dr. Graham Dersna. Welcome to Bite Size Medicine, where we learn about common medical topics so you can take control of your health. While you're watching, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Let's get started. In the previous video, we had a very brief introduction to enzymes and why they're so important. Although they're small proteins, they have big jobs to do, and if they don't function properly or are missing, then we get certain diseases. Today, we'll learn about an enzyme named lactase and how it relates to lactose intolerance. Lactase is an enzyme in our small intestines. In general, you'll know something is an enzyme if it ends in A-S-E. It's needed to digest lactose, which is a sugar found in dairy products. Our body is not able to absorb lactose directly, so it needs to be broken down by lactase into two smaller units called glucose and galactose. Both of these are also types of sugar, and our body can use them for energy. So what does lactose intolerance mean? It means our body does not make enough or any of the lactase enzyme, so we're not able to digest lactose, which leads to all of the associated symptoms. When lactose is not digested in the small intestine by lactase, it continues moving through the intestine. Eventually, it reaches the large intestine where two main events occur. The first is that the lactose draws water into the intestine from the body, which causes the diarrhea. The second is that the bacteria that live in our intestine break down the lactose for themselves and in doing so release gas. This leads to bloating and flatulence, and the stretching of the bowel by this gas leads to abdominal pain. If someone were to have a lot of dairy in their diet and constantly experience these symptoms, it would also lead to weight loss and vitamin and mineral deficiencies, especially calcium and vitamin D, because the diarrhea causes them to lose other nutrients from their body in the process, not just the lactose and water. Check out my vitamin videos to learn what happens when you have a deficiency. Although there are currently no treatments that allow our body to produce more lactase, managing lactose intolerance is relatively simple. It requires changing your diet to limit or completely avoid foods that contain lactose. Depending on the severity of your intolerance, you may find some products are okay to eat while others cause symptoms. The important aspect of living with lactose intolerance is maintaining a diet that provides enough protein, fat, vitamins, and calcium that you would normally get from dairy products. Finally, some people may benefit from taking lactase supplements just before eating dairy products. This provides a small amount of lactase enzyme so that when the dairy reaches the intestines, lactase will be present to digest it. The lactase is temporary though, so the supplement is required with every dairy meal. In the next video, we'll learn about the different types of lactose intolerance and the risk factors for developing it. Before you go, make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Let me know if you have any questions, have a personal experience in this area that you'd like to share, or have ideas for a future video. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time for another delicious bite of medicine.